The Circle is a novel written by Dave Eggers in 2013, and it deals with themes such as social networking, the internet, privacy, and totalitarianism. May Holland has recently gotten her college degree and has been introduced by her close friend Annie Allerton to a company called The Circle. Annie is one of their most esteemed employees, and The Circle itself is seen as one of the most respected tech companies. Her friend gives her a tour of the impeccable and high-tech workspace, which impresses her. The people she encounters seem to be so welcoming to her. As Anne shows her around, she elaborates to May about the three wise men who run the company. Ty Gosbordinov is the company's founder, but he's hardly ever seen in public, as he keeps in the shadows. Tom Stenton is aggressive and greedy, making him perfect for any dirty work that needs to be done. Eamon Bailey is the face of the company, as he's beloved and brings about a vision for the global company of belonging and connecting people. She starts work in the customer experience department, where she deals with customers that have questions about the company's products on a daily basis. As she learns more about the company, she finds out that the circle organizes parties and events near daily. At one of these gatherings, she meets Francis Garaventa, from whom she gathers that he was an orphan and that some of his siblings were abducted. He's now working on a project that will enable the tracking of such children. May also witnesses some of Eamon Bailey's presentations. In one particular, he unveils Sea Change, an elaborate system that allows people at the company to see any spot on Earth at any time. Although the feeling of unison and utopia are alluring to her, she spends more time off campus than other workers there due to her father. He suffers from MS and requires around-the-clock care, and the painkillers he's given don't provide him with the level of comfort he wants. When she returns to work, she is made aware that she is supposed to attend more parties and engage more online, updating her status frequently. When she feels that this is something the company likes, she starts investing time, liking videos, and staying online till late at night. Around this time, she meets a man called Calden, who asks May a lot of questions about herself but doesn't give any information about himself even to the point that she doesn't know his last name. She tries researching him online but can't find him. On her next date with Francis, they kiss. The day after, Francis helps unveil a dating website called Love Love, and during the launch, he shows May's personal information, which makes her furious and unwilling to speak to him. When she hears of her father's declining health, she decides to visit him, and she argues with her ex Mercer Medeiros while there. Mercer blames her new job and the company for May being out of touch with her friends and family. When she returns to work, she sees Calden at a circle party, and they have intercourse. She hears about the health insurance plan, and with Annie's help, she's able to get her parents to benefit from it. The company pushes more and more boldly for total transparency from its employees and increasingly makes them share all information. Cameras are installed everywhere, except for the bathrooms, where she secretly meets with Calden. One night, May goes to the beach and sees an unreturned kayak near her favorite kayak shop. She takes it out, and when she returns, she's nearly arrested, only avoiding this by calling the shop owner. She learns the next day that users witnessed her stealing via circle cameras. She meets Eamon Bailey, and he confides in her that all secrets are lies and that humans should share every experience they have. After this, she devoutly posts detail after detail of her life. A year onward, the circle is now handling a massive amount of information every day. May is transparent and a virtual tour guide for the company. She wears a lens all day, so anyone can see and hear anything she does. She loves this, as it brings her energy. She still sees Francis, but they don't have intercourse. Her relationship with Annie is also more distant since she seems jealous of May's new status and popularity. 
she finds out that her parents have been disrespectful of the circle by covering the cameras in their house, which were installed after the health insurance accepted them. When Mercer intervenes and suggests her parents need privacy, she finds this ludicrous. When she gets back to work, she proposes a bold idea that all Circle users could vote through the company's interface. She gets some backing from management, and they expand upon the idea, saying they could pay their taxes through their company and more. Democracy is created, allowing all people to vote on anything. Calden reaches out to May once more, urging her to protest against the Circle, as it's becoming more and more dangerous. Still, she ignores him and keeps spending much time posting about her experiences while growing nervous about the most minor things. The Circle launches a program that will enable police officers to track and target criminals before they commit any crimes. Annie is doing worse, being anxious after signing up for an experiment that uncovered that some of her ancestors were slave owners, making her followers send her dark messages. May tries to help her by telling her followers to have some compassion for her. Mercer sends May a letter announcing he's becoming a recluse to escape the cameras. When May is asked to unveil a program to catch fugitives, she sends the drones after Mercer. When they follow him, he finally drives his car off a canyon to escape, committing suicide. The whole thing upsets her, but Eamon Bailey assures her he was a young man who lost his way in life, and she cannot be blamed. When May finally meets Ty Gospordinov, the hermit, she's shocked to find it's Calden. He tells her he's been trying to bring down his company the last few years since he no longer believes in what it stands for. He thinks Tom Stenton is abusing his power and asks May to help him in his quest. She goes to Eamon Bailey and Tom Stenton and has Ty arrested and possibly murdered since she never sees him again. May visits Annie in the hospital, who's in a coma after a nervous breakdown. She watches a screen displaying Annie's brainwaves and thinks of a project by which they could listen to people's thoughts. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.